this video, we'll find the difference quotient for this rational function. Remember, the reason for this channel is to help you pass your math class so you can reach your goals and get a better life. Rational function difference quotients coming right up. So we know the difference quotient is the difference between f of x plus h and f of x and we've got this rational function. So we're going to start off, I'm going to write the equation that I want to use here in the corner, which you, know, you can see my kind of thought processes there in the red, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now here it really matters how you write this down and I think it's very wise to put everything that is f of x plus h in these parentheses. So instead of x we use x plus h, so for the numerator it's whatever we put in, x plus h in this case, minus 5, all divided by x plus h plus 9. And now we're going to subtract just f of x, so we have x minus 5 all over x plus 9, and the whole thing is all over h. So what we have here is a complex fraction. So now what I have in the numerator is a complex fraction. And the least common denominator of my complex fraction in the numerator, well, and that's going to be x plus h plus 9 is multiplied by x plus 9. So for the top there, I have to write all of this over the common denominator or the least common denominator. So that's my next step. And what I'm going to do is write down my next step, which is usually a mental step for me. Now normally we think of this as a mental step, so I'll just sort of put that note here. This is usually a mental step, but I've got to get the uh, fractions in the top over a common denominator. And the common denominator has to be x plus h plus 9, so I've got to multiply this by x plus 9 all over x plus 9. See, really I'm just multiplying it by 1, so I'm not changing it. Same thing here, what's missing here is the x plus h plus 9. I can't just go around multiplying the top by that, it's got to be 1, because then I'm not changing it. And that's how I, that's the rationale, the reason I'm able to do it. So this, like I said, normally a mental step, and now I'm going to multiply that out. I'm going to multiply x plus h minus 5 times the quantity x plus 9, etc., and put everything over the common denominator. My next step is to multiply the top. So what I have here is I'm going to have x squared plus h minus 5 multiplied by the quantity x plus 9. So that's going to give me x squared plus xh minus 5x plus 9x, that's plus sign, plus 9h, minus 45. And now I'm going to have, I've got to multiply x minus 5 times x plus h plus 9. So that's going to give me x squared, uh, let's see where am I, I'm going to have x squared, plus xh, plus 9x minus 5x minus 5h and minus 45. Now the biggest mistake I see students make here is they don't use the parentheses. They're not doing what I did. And then and we have all of this over the common denominator. So the common denominator there is going to be uh, x plus h plus 9 multiplied by x plus 9, that's all over the common denominator. And I can't forget that I've got to divide this whole thing by h. Is it complicated? Yes, kind of. Now let's simplify this and you know you can see these square brackets are very important here so I don't get the sign wrong. So x squared plus xh minus 5x plus 9x plus 9h minus 45 and now I have minus x squared minus xh 
minus 9x plus 5x, because it's a minus minus, plus 5h and plus 45 over my common denominator, which is x plus h plus 9 multiplied by x plus 9. And it's all going to be over h. And of course, all of this is the, the numerator of the top, if you like. OK, so let me just get a different color pen. And what I want to do is I want to look for anything that might add up to give me 0. So I've got x squared and minus x squared. That's going to add up to 0. I've got plus xh. I've got minus xh. When I add that up, it's going to be 0. I've got minus 5x and plus 5x. And I've got my, a plus 9x here and minus 9x here, minus 45 here, and plus 45 here. So this is going to simplify out. I've really just got two items left in the numerator, don't I? 9h and 5h. So I'm going to get 14h in the numerator. We'll go back to black. So what I'm going to get here now is 14h all over my common denominator, which is x plus h plus 9 times x plus 9. And now it's just over h. And you remember when you have these complex fractions, um, I'll just put this in red, we can uh, always assume that we have an understood denominator here of 1. So now we have a complex fraction. And sometimes the way to solve this is called copy dot flip or multiply by the reciprocal. And that's what we do next. So the next step is pretty straightforward. We have 14h over our common denominator. So x plus h plus 9 uh, times x plus 9. And when we do the multiply by the reciprocal, sometimes called copy.flip, that's 1 over h. I notice that I can have a factor of h in the numerator and a factor of h in the denominator. So that's going to actually factor out to be 1, isn't it? So I'm going to end up with 14 over x, the common denominator, plus h plus 9, all multiplied by x plus 9. So that simplifies down quite a bit. I would like to invite you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks very much for listening.